Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called The End. And this was created by Konami and licensed to Stern in the U.S. in 1980. But this was the first game by Konami. Uh, before that, they were called Layjack. And uh, for their first effort, this isn't really all that great. This is a uh, kind of like Galaxian type of game. But uh, the swooping aliens from above are trying to steal bricks. And uh, they are at the bottom of the screen. And they are trying to return them to the top where they try to build the word end. And if they do that, no matter how many lives you have left, the game is over. Uh, not all that great a game. But that's, that's basically it. There is a spaceship that the uh, aliens will hop off of and you can kind of see that the level of aliens on that ship starts to diminish as more and more aliens jump off of it. Now in the uh, Konami version, the original version, your ship is below these bricks. In the stern licensed version, your ship is above the bricks. And those bricks act as bunkers to keep you from getting shot. And you can sneak out from underneath the bunkers and shoot the aliens. You know, whether you run out of lives or they spell the word end, your game will be over. And in the Konami version, you get an extra life at 5,000 points. In the Stern version, you get an extra life at 10,000 points. And we'll look at both versions. Let's get started. The uh, scoring, there are three types of aliens. There are red ones, and they are worth 40 when shot. But if they're carrying a block, they're double points, and that's the same for all the aliens. There are red aliens, there are purple aliens, and there are blue aliens. The red aliens are the slowest and easiest to predict their pattern. The purple are a little bit quicker might have a tougher pattern to discern. And then eventually, there will be blue aliens, and they are way faster. And yeah, with every alien, well, later on, the blue aliens get way faster. Um, in this version, the uh, Konami version, yeah, it's, it's easier because you're underneath the bricks. If you have just one single layer of bricks, and an alien drops down to grab one of the bricks, you can shoot him by and stay underneath that brick for protection, which is kind of nice. Um, eventually, that ship at the top will shoot at you, just one shot at a time. Notice that your shots are pretty fast compared to the aliens. They're they're very slow shooters. But the uh, spaceship, when it does fire, its shots will be faster than theirs. But you can totally predict when it's going to shoot. It shoots uh, in a, a pattern. Just like one shot, like every second or so. There is no real ending to the game other than a game over from running out of lives or uh, them spelling the word end. And they will eventually spell end. You won't be able to stop every alien from bringing a brick back to the top. When uh, the bricks run out, they will be replaced. And there I got my uh, extra life of 5,000. I'd never seen this in arcades and it's not a not a particularly good game. Uh, Konami would, of course, make much better games like Frogger and uh, Scramble or Super, Super Cobra the following year. But yeah, you can see uh, the level of aliens on the ship start to diminish as more and more of them jump off. There's no bonus wave or anything. The once the aliens are, are all defeated, then another wave comes, and you see, uh, you see, uh, flags appear on the bottom left, indicating the levels that you beat. 
and you'll start to hear a certain tone when uh, they're about to spell end. Whoops. Well, that's my game. Not a very good game, really. Um, MAME has trouble with games that run on a Galaxian type of hardware. Or a, a scramble type of hardware where you see the the descending star field. And uh, this is no exception, so I had to uh, use Bandicam. We're gonna, uh... We're gonna eventually look at them spelled end to end my game, but um, you, like I said, you will eventually notice that the uh, the ship will start uh, will start firing at you. But yeah, in uh, this version, in the Konami version, if there's just a single brick layer and an enemy tries to grab a brick off of that layer, you can shoot them from underneath those bricks, which is nice. But yeah, the, again, the scoring is different from from uh, one version to the other in Konami. The red enemy is worth 40 and then 80 if he's carrying a brick, and then the purple enemy is worth 60 and then 120 if they're carrying a brick, and there they spelled the end to end my game. And uh, the blue alien is worth 100 and then 200 if he's carrying a brick. The score is much greater in uh, the stern version. Um, it's the same for the red aliens, 40 and 80. And then for the purple one, it's 80 and 160. And for the blue one, it's 200 and 400. And then you have to get 10,000 to get a one-up in the stern version, or an extra life. And then 5,000 in the Konami version to get an extra life. And you can only get that one extra life. You don't get more. That is the end. We're going to look at a little bit of the Stern version. And you control a beetle. And they call it a beetle in this version. And he's on top of the bricks. But uh, those are the main differences in the game. You will also get a different message as you beat a level. Um, it'll say like attack one, uh, attack two, attack three. Uh, eventually it will say like final attack. And then the aliens don't come off of the ship anymore. They just attack you from uh, space. I mean, there's no ship. And... Even if you beat a level of Final Attack, it'll keep saying Final Attack from that point on. So we're going to play the stern version of The End, which is the version uh, arcade gamers saw. And one other note about the, sto the stern version, the aliens will not shoot on the first level. Watch out for when they grab a brick. If you get right above them after they grab a brick, they'll slam into you from behind and kill you. Yeah, I definitely uh, prefer the Konami original version over this one. It's, uh, it's easier, but the Stern version has more potential for more scoring. Like I said, the, uh, the, blue, the blue aliens... We're gonna scoot ahead a little bit. The blue aliens are worth much more points. They're faster in the uh, Stern version. They're very fast. And yeah, see it says stuff like third attack. And I think by this point, yeah, the, the alien ship starts firing at you. And eventually its shots will be very fast. The alien ship shoots eventually in the uh, Konami version too. I put on a invincibility in the... Uh, uh, stern version here. I didn't see the end in arcades. Like I said, it's, uh, I didn't think it was that good a game. But it was the very first one created by Konami. And uh, before they made this, they were known as Layjack. And we're going to watch uh, the enemies build the end. 
See, it says last attack. And it'll just keep saying that after your BH level. And they have a different, uh, a different sound indicating that they're about to spell the end. Yeah, this is not a particularly great game. Yeah, I used Bandicam. I, I opened up the cheat menu and turned off uh, invincibility. And I'm gonna let them spell end. Game over. Well, that was The End by Konami and Licensed to Stern in 1980. Well, I hope you enjoyed The End, <laughs> created by Konami and Licensed to Stern for U.S. release in 1980. Well, this is Crazy Clown Race, and thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a great week. I will uh, catch you later with another video. Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.